Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we are going to make these uh, laser eyes and put them on a Mixamo character and let's create. First you will go to Mixamo and find a character you like, download it as a FBX. And next you will go into Blender and say file import fbx and find your file like this. Next we are going to create a cylinder which is going to be his uh, laser coming out of the eye. It's important that you Boom, 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 go to settings, viewport display, show axis, and in edit mode you will rotate 90 degrees along the X because you want um, the Y direction to be like this. Next we are going to select this face and say shift S cursor to select it. Go to object mode and say set origin to 3D cursor. Let me just turn on screencast. Now I will scale it. Shift Y. Scale shift Y. Something, maybe something like this. And I will go to shading, add a new material, and delete principle, add in a mix shader, add in a emission, and a transparent BSDF. Connect it like this. And next we will add in a color ramp and a wave texture. Click on wave texture and hit Ctrl T to add mapping and texture coordinates. Put the color in like this. Go to render view. Rotate around the C axis 90 degrees. And let's see, put the color into emission and go to settings under blend mode and change it to alpha blend. Now we should have transparency. Oh, put the factor, this color, put it into factor. So now we have transparency between the lines. Next, I would like it to move along the x-axis like this. So I will go to my timeline, uh, at keyframe zero, I will add a keyframe here. And I will go to graph editor. And just do, do, do find the X value and hit N, add a modifier generator, and maybe just a little bit faster. Something like that. And then we can change the color right here to anything we like and emission strength and turn on bloom yes next I will go to my mesh go to edit mode find the eye and select this vertex and call it his left eye Go to boom, vertex groups, add a new group, left eye, and a 
assigned. Now we'll do the same for the right eye. Right eye and assign. Now we will take this cylinder and go to constraint, copy location, and select the mesh and vertex group is right eye. Now I will add a empty, just a sphere, scale it down, move it in front of my character. And I will have this one track to the empty. So I will add a track to constraints to my empty. And I want the track to be Y and C up like this. So now it's tracking to this one. <clears throat> Next, I would like it to stretch down to this point. So I will add in a stretch to constraint to my empty, and I will just scale it so that it hits right about there. Yes. Now I will duplicate shift D and just right click and on the new cylinder one I will instead of copy location to the right eye I will change it to the left eye. So now we got two laser. Now my character is walking just once, so I will go to nonlinear animation and I will click this button to make it yeah like a bar like this and I will go to M properties strip action clip and repeat ten times. Now I will tap into this one, go to graph editor, select the armature and this line is moving him forward so I would just select some of those and click hit L and delete. Now he's just walking in the same spot. Go back to nonlinear and tap out. Go to the timeline frame zero and give him keyframe on location. Go to frame 50 maybe and move him just a bit forward. Give him another location keyframe and go down, hover your mouse over the timeline and hit shift E and choose linear extrapolation. This will make him walk continuously. Now I will just turn on my floor so I can see if his feet are sliding just a bit so I will move this last keyframe he's still sliding still sliding still sliding Yeah, you just play around with this keyframe. That's good enough for now. Yeah, next, we will add a plane. Scale it up like this. And I will add in a Bezier curve. Go to edit mode, delete vertices. Go to top view. Hit T, choose draw, and I will just draw a curve like this. Now we will make this empty follow this curve. So we can go to wireframe, click this empty and say follow path. 
basically a curve and I will just move it in to the start position and click animate path on the curve I will select path animation and set the frames to 250 Next, we would, I would like his uh, head and upper body to move as well. So I will go into the armature and go to pose mode and select this bone. And under bone constraints, I will add a track to and choose my empty and maybe what's going on. Just go back. Yes, and I will. Maybe I will just move this curve. Go to object mode, move it a bit forward like this. Next, I will go to pose mode again and select this next bone and also add a track to my empty on the C and this time I will turn down the influence maybe point, point 0.8 and this bone I will add a track to my empty and choose C and turn it down to point 0.6 and this bone, track to empty, point 0.4, and on the C axis, and the last bone, track to, choose my empty, C axis, and give it point 0.2. Now his entire upper body will follow on as well. Nice. Next, we will add in a go to frame zero, add in a go to object mode, add a icosphere, isolate it, front view, wireframe, and select these vertices, delete them. Go back, scale it down, and give it a copy location to my empty. Then we will add a particle system and make it start on frame zero and end on 250, lifetime 250. And go to the blue. First, we will add in a new icosphere and just move this down. Give it a material, choose emission, turn up the strength, make it maybe orange like this, and choose this one. Go to particle render. And choose object and my icosphere one scale it down maybe I will move this curve up a bit yes and then we can select the plane and go to Physics properties and add in a collision. Turn it up, turn up friction and turn up damping. Yes. Next, we will add a some geometry to this curve. I just scale up this plane. 
select a curve and go to curve settings, geometry, and turn up the depth and give it a material like this one. No, 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 give it material two. Now I would like it to animate so you can go to the curve settings under start and end mapping and on frame zero we can turn this one all the way down give it a keyframe and on frame 250 turn this all the way up and give it a keyframe If it's not uh, following, you can choose, instead of resolution, you choose maybe spline. Yes. Then it should follow like this. So, next we will just find a nice angle for my camera. Lock camera to view. This. So there you have it, laser eyes. That's it. Thanks for watching.